Make sure you like this video, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys the best strategy on how to do Crota's End Challenge Mode. This will help you achieve and make sure you show this video to your whole raid team because that way they'll better understand what they need to do. Now I'm going to go over the weapons you need to use, the placement, the setting, and the step-by-step -step guide. So stay in tune for that. And guys, let's be honest, this was really easy. This raid is not very hard. And now for Vault of Glass and future raids, Bungie's really going to throw some doozies at us. So make sure you're ready for that. And we will be and we're going to be coming out with the best tutorials same day so you can expect it the fastest the best here at TKO Gaming. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you have not already and turn on notifications so you know. And by the way, before we get into it, if you need help with Trials of Osiris or raids, make sure you follow us on Twitter. We raffle away free runs on there. So make sure at Real TKO Gaming that you follow us on Twitter. Links, everything you need to know is in the description below. Now let's get into this. What we have for weapons is primary you want to have a scout rifle the burning eye is probably the best one to use you get it from trials of osiris it's an awesome awesome gun we have the adept version as well and then what you want is a secondary of a sniper rifle pretty good high impact i use a thousand yard stare it's not the highest impact but i love that sniper to be honest and then the third you want to have a galahorn now if you don't have any of the weapons that i mentioned it's okay it's okay just use something similar now what we do here is i'm the first sword bearer right so i want to get the chalice you want to make sure you pick up the chalice the sword bearer should always have the chalice and what you want to do is you want to call out and you want to go forth and i'm going to do three hits right after i do three hits i'm going to go back into my little corner here and the oversoul pops up every time he goes down the oversoul will pop up but you're going to see us glitch the oversoul right here i'm going to get three hits again and i don't want to go for more i could have gotten four and then this time the oversoul didn't pop up because he went down while the oversoul was still active or very darn near close so we essentially figured out a little glitch to do there so yeah shout out to tko gaming and tko nation we did it live on our live stream in front of all you guys and you guys were so hyped and we figured that part out so then what you want to do is you want to come back into middle and he's going to rotate over to the right side now there are teams out there that'll be like okay we can still down him on the right side but we don't want to do that we want to play it safe guys it's okay if you take the longer route as long as you get it done in your first few tries because then if you keep trying to do it fast it makes no sense if you keep failing right so if you want to challenge yourself you can do it as well it's all good now during this downtime what you want to do is you want to make sure you have good ammo your weapon your armor everything you need is really really good now remember it's challenge mode so if you die you can't spawn back so if you're a warlock i would highly recommend you have the self-res shit on so you can self-res if you do die now if you die as a sword bearer and self-res do not pick the sword back up because then it'll count as two separate people or you actually picking up the sword twice and that is against challenge mode and on the bottom left hand of your screen it'll say you have failed challenge mode so remember each person can only pick up the sword once and what you do with it during that run is up to you. So if you fail, it's okay. You just can't pick up the sword again. You just have to rotate to your other teammates. Now, what we do here with these knights, and we do this every single round, is we want to kill the knight closest to Crota. That pretty much helps the sword bearer to not get hit by those knights or get hit a little less by those knights. Now here, you want to listen to your sword bearer's call out as to when he's ready. Don't go based off of when you guys are ready. When he's ready, he'll call it out. Now, the oversoul will pop up because he went down. We're going to shoot the oversoul, and then we're going to get ready to down him again. Now, keep in mind, he wasn't down so once he goes down and we get the hits on him the oversoul is going to pop up again now for the second time through our sword bearer got three hits and then two hits he didn't want to get three and three because it'll get him a little bit too close to that enraged and you don't want him to be enraged trust me you guys are going to see why because the oversoul pops up over and over and over again so now here on the third wave is ogres what you want to do is you want to get your ass down to the bottom right or left room now this is good downtime now one of the ogres is going to pop out out of the room that you guys are in you're going to kill that ogre and then you're going to look across from the same bottom room and you're going to kill the other ogre now here it's very smart to go once again get your weapon get your synthesis all the shit you got to do to get your weapons back and your armor back to normal 
also talk out with your team what the next steps are. It's a good reminder for everybody on your team. Then you're going to look across, you're going to kill that ogre. Once that ogre dies, you're going to make your way slowly, no need to rush, slowly back up top. Now, as you guys notice, we're on the opposite side as to which Crota's at, which is very smart because when you then run up the stair, if Crota was on the same side as us, he would have just smashed us and we would have died. Now, remember, your third sword bearer also has to be different from the first two. And I didn't say this earlier, so for those of you that stuck around to watch the whole video, you guys get this. The best way to kill the Oversoul is to have Celestial Nighthawk on a golden gun. That will really damage that Oversoul easily. And what you'll be able to do is just gun it down the rest of the way. And it's really, really easy. As you guys noticed, we really did take out that Oversoul really, really fast. Now, keep in mind, the bubble really does help. Our placement is crucial. And as always, kill those knights. Don't kill both the knights on either platform because the Death Singer Witch or whatever the hell her name is is going to come and it's going to be a pain to have to kill her. And here, what we did is we got him down. He was very close to dying. We couldn't kill him. So the Oversoul is going to come up. Here, it's very important to focus on Crota, okay? Even if the Oversoul kept going, you could have still killed Crota and it would have been easy and you would have been done. So that's how you do it, guys. Make sure to subscribe. A lot more great videos coming. You guys saw that great loot. Hopefully you guys get it. And please do connect with us for everything else. We love you. See you in the next one. Peace.